Hey Thank you guys. Hello, hello. So we are in a taxi right now because we are going in for transformation today. Yes. yes. So who's transforming? Doing? Yeah, who's transforming? Is Comment it me? now. Hi, it's me. <laughs> Good job. So um, I'm really tired of my hair. I do like, like my blonde streaks, but as you can see, my natural hair is here, some color here, and then some color here. So it's not looking the greatest right now. Yeah. And so, oh, frizz. It's raining today. So yeah, we're both really frizzy. Yeah. So what's gonna happen is that I booked myself into a color, a cut, and a treatment at a place called Sign in Jingamai. So um, I'm going in with the mind of that I'm gonna look like this or this. Uh, probably not gonna happen. Yeah, so expectations is that. A few problems we are recognizing is firstly, you had a perm. I have a straight perm and then this end down is black box dye and then this is a uh, milk tea box dye <laughs> and then this is my natural hair and this is bleach so i don't think we're gonna have too much problems with what's in the front um but um i'm a little bit nervous i'm probably not gonna get what i want but what we want to do today is to see if a random hair salon can work on foreign hair because that's a big dilemma in japan for foreigners mm -hmm. because they can't work all salons cannot work on foreign hair and what you mean by that is not every salon not every salon yeah yeah um most of the time you're gonna see that they say like oh guy kokufu kara which means they do styles, coloring that are popular outside of Japan. Does not mean that they work on foreign hair textures. We're interested in the price too, because compared to Australia, it's really cheap. It's originally, I think around 29,000 yen. Uh, yen. So let's say 30,000 yen, which is like $300. And then um, um, paying with... essentially 13,800 yen, which is $138, uh, right? 138, yeah, like right? $150 maybe. Yeah. Um, now they have a disclaimer on their website saying, oh, depending on hair length or what is in your hair already, the price might go up. Yeah. So we're really interested in the price. We're really interested in this hairstylist because they specialize in highlights. Mm -hmm. So let's see if they can do that for me. Yeah. So let's go. Yeah. See you at the saloon. Yeah. Bye. We're finally here at Sign. Sign. If yes, it's called Sign. We're finally here outside Sign. Um, I'm gonna show you a before and after of my shitty hair. Let's do a before and after. Yeah. Oh. Ugly, many colors, many colors. Let's hope that the after just blows us away. But we're going in now to Sign. Wish me luck. Good luck. Bye. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah. Starting with remover. Are you excited? So, what do you think about what they said? 
so now the image is completely changed. So now we're going in for no bad balayage. No balayage. <laughs> we're going for a complete a highlighting set of practically white lavender grayish um, highlights instead. Um, so that's going to be interesting. I'm going to start with some color remover. Yes, we're going to get this mess out and he's going to play a little bit with my hair. Exciting. <laughs> so exciting. Yeah, cover. What is Yemen? Like Yemen? Yemen? Oh, Yemen! No! えっと、セルビアとボスニアは、えっと、イタリアのあの、イタリアここでセルビアボスニアここでグミ。カラーリムー。ああ、I Let's see. Mm. Color remover actually worked and her hair is red now. And this is why you don't use box Oh my size. god, you're so early 2000s. You don't use box size. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Are you there? I'm here. <laughs> where's the front and where's the back? We don't know. <laughs> so they're gonna start putting in the base already while the foils are still in, which is really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Your face. Huh? Your face looks so funny. You look so emo. I am emo. Hey. It's a rainbow. Rainbow. It's a rainbow. Yes, that is a lot of color difference. How do you feel? Like shit. Update feelings. My head hurts. I want to pee. I'm hungry. I have a headache. Great. Holy shit, that looks really cool though. Yeah? It looks really cool though. Over there. Mm. My ear in Huh? He was so nonchalant when I picked my earring. He was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> Can't see the color. Oh, really? Mm. We just have to wait until it's dry then. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll leave you to have your hair washed.
Oh, that's cute. Mean it. This is really weird, but you look so pretty with a blurred background. <laughs> like, you look so pretty. I just see this. Oh, you found it. Oh, my God. Wow. Where did you put it on? I Oh my god, it looks so pretty from the back. Oh my god, bitch. It <laughs> looks so pretty. Korean? No, pretty. I'm taking such a bad video, but... Yeah. Your face looks so pretty with this color. Hello. Hello. So it's been about three weeks since Mariella has done her hair. Yeah. What do you think? Living mm -hmm. for it. Like, brand new me. Mm -hmm. Feel like a boss ass bitch. It's I can do anything in my life that I want to do. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I'm glad that it made that much of a difference for you. Definitely confident booster. We get highlights. <laughs> yeah, just get highlights. We were talking about that though. We were saying in our last video, like simple little changes to your style can make you feel like a different person mm. and look like a different person. Mm. I feel like it's done both of those things for you. No, nah, definitely. I, like I have so much coming up right now and I think that with this new hair, I just feel like a boss ass bitch and I can do anything. Like, yeah. unstoppable. Love it. We were talking also about how, like, um, people respond so differently to your new hair. Mm. For example, she's had some, like, pretty dramatic changes with her hair in her life. Like, the blonde streaks at the front. Mm. That was pretty drastic. And also, she's gone from bleach blonde to jet black mm. and those times nobody said anything nothing you even went from black hair to bright red all over bright red do you remember when we bleached it and it came out bright red yeah no nobody said anything nothing but then for some reason with this hairstyle which is very on trend right now mm. even though it was quite a subtle difference like people have been gasping for mm -hmm. air and it's like, when I was posting pictures, he's such a good on Instagram, people were like messaging me being like, oh my God, you look gorgeous. Like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, good choices. Thank you very much, Camille. Camille was the one who helped me decide on this because obviously I did not get what I wanted. But what did you want again? Balayage. Balayage. Yeah. As you could see from the intro of our video we talk about what I initially wanted and we both kind of went, went in with a mind that that's not gonna happen but let's see type mm. of thing right what do you think were your like expectations versus reality for this hair journey <laughs> so when we decided to go with this hairstyle and he was like yeah there's gotten there's not going to be any issues. And I was like, no, there's going to be plenty of issues. Like this is not going to come out. Well, it's going to be brassy. I would, I'm going to have to cut off my hair again and whatnot. But minimal breakage. Mm -hmm. He did the best color correction I have seen. Because as you remember, maybe I had my natural hair box dye, brown box dye, and then black, blue box dye. And somehow, this happened. It's very even. Very nice. Yeah. And I told him that I wanted the base color to be my natural hair color. And he got that in one go, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Really nice. It's still healthy. I have some breakage here and there. That is kind of sad, but that's fine. 
a mm. hard pill to swallow, but. I think another thing is that sorry. did not have to say <laughs> that was that so, hard to swallow. It was hard to swallow. You don't want to see your hair being like. <laughs> like what is that? Welcome to my life. <laughs> I think another expectations versus reality for me was while you actually, while you had your foils in, mm. we were looking at another customer, and we saw them pull the foils out, and it was like oh, white yeah. blonde, and then. They came back from getting it washed and toned, and it was, um, they had a root shadow, and then the blonde streaks, and then it faded darker. Mm. And you were like, I fucking hope that's not going to happen to me. Mm -hmm. And then turn your head. We have, turn your head down a bit, to the side. Okay. We have root shadow, bright blonde, and then it fades darker. And what's the reason for that? Color correction. Mm -hmm. What did you think about the stylists themselves? The main two people you had was Adai and I'm so sorry that I forgot her name, but I don't remember her name. Pink either. hair girl. They pink were your two girl. main yeah. stylists. Yeah, they were the main two. Adai, fucking thank you, man. Like he did such a good job. I'm surprised how much effort he was actually putting down into my hair, like. You can go to any stylist and they're going to try to sell you like a whole different package to what you're going to get. Um, but he went fully out and he made sure that I did not walk out of that salon looking like a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. So he was great. He made effort on the color correction. He did a good haircut as well, though it's not exactly what I wanted. This could have been blended a little bit more nicely in my opinion, but nonetheless, he did an amazing job and his assistant she was amazing too she was very gentle on the hair gentle on my head so it was Edai as well what about the price <laughs> so we went in with the mind of 13,800 yen mm -hmm. right um as we did say they had disclaimer on the website saying depending on hair length it can become more expensive that's fine but i also thought that yeah it's too good to be true so I ended up paying almost 30,000 yen, so 27,900. And what was that for? That was for color remover, treatment, cut. But treatment, cut. As in the total package itself. Color oh. remover, treatment, cut, highlights with bleach, color correction. Mm. Yeah. So I think the price is fair in the end of the day. So like if you have virgin hair and you go, you might see yourself paying like maybe 15,000 yen. And in, a bob. And a bob. If you've got a bob. Oh, uh, yeah. If you've got really short hair. If you have really short hair, you're probably going to spend the 13,800. But if you have a little bit longer hair, maybe add 2,000 yen and you have virgin hair, then then you that's what you're going to get. But mm. that was not the case for mine. My situation, sorry. It's, I, it was worth it. If that, goes, if that money goes to Edai's pocket, then I'm happy about that. Edai fan? Edai fan. Okay. It was great. <laughs> I was like a princess. <laughs> you gonna go back? Yes! So Edai knows what I want mm -hmm. in the future as well. So... What do you want in the future? So I think I want to have more highlights. I want to become lighter hair, but I still want the darker base. I still want mm -hmm. to keep my own hair. And they kind of also gave me like an ultimatum in the sense of that I have a straight perm going on. So I either choose to get more highlights and not keep on doing straight perm or I give up on the highlights and I do the straight perm. Um, so I think that throwing away my ideal of always having stick straight hair out the window to get good hair highlights and a healthy piece of head. <laughs> <laughs> I think some final tips if you're interested in this kind of hair and like no matter what country you're in, if you are like, oh, I love that trend. Number one is you look at this your highlights are just gonna look like this mm. so something to be aware of is anyone's highlights are gonna pop if they do this to their hair mm. and that's exactly what the stylist did what Adai did when he was styling her hair and she was like oh my god uh. so style your hair and like actually pinch the highlights yeah 
Point number two is for that curly, wet look, which we were so curious about. And mm-hmm. now you're doing it every day. Almost. I do it very often. Saying like, when your hair's wet and you've just washed it, make sure you always put milk in it. Mm. And then when you're styling your hair, once you've curled it, mix oil and gel together. Like a really soft gel that doesn't get crispy. But yeah, oil and gel. Oil and gel. Hair look. Love it. Yeah. So, that's it. Are we going to do a hair transformation on you next? Stay tuned for Cammy becoming blackhead. Bye. Bye.